Hey, it's Luke. I just found this way to make a repeating hi-hat pattern more interesting. So what you want to do is take a sample. I, uh, I took a top loop, and which just doesn't have a kick drum in it. And you go to an empty MIDI track and drop it into this part here at the bottom. And what you want to do is slice mode. Look for the LFO in here, and it'll be right here and drop it here. So the first thing you're gonna do is go up here to controls and then map it to this amount here. And it's gonna sound a little bit odd, unless this is the type of sound you're, you're looking for. So what we wanna do is take these sounds here and bring them a little bit closer together. So uh, we'll do maybe 17 and maybe something just a little bit below 50, 48. So you can tell already there's a little bit of a groove going. Oh yeah, what you have to do is hit repeat on, uh, if you're using Ableton Push, you hit repeat. And otherwise you can draw in a whole bunch of, of short notes, but the ideal here is repeat. And then you can go to 16th notes or use triplets. So we'll do just 16th because it sounds good. And uh, go to triangle here. I found this sounds a little bit nicer. You can bring the depth down. And you can bring the rate up a little bit if you want. See, you can tell it's got a little bit of a groove going now. And what you're able to do is just record this on a different track and then you can throw some uh, some groove or some interesting quantization on it or play around with it. But you can get some really interesting sounds. We'll do a couple of these. You've got a whole bunch, you can adjust the speed to give it a little bit. But one thing I notice that's really interesting here is if you go back to sample, you right click on here and you reverse the sample. And you can get some interesting sounds. You just have to find the right one. Not that one. <laughs> Even this one here, if we turn it. Might be able to even get it. There's some interesting sounds in here. You could add some delay, do whatever it is. It's a really interesting way to get some movement into your samples. And you could probably do this with vocals and get some interesting little, little chops out of it. Anyways, I hope this can help you out and you can make some interesting music with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.